Necromancer and the Skeleton Knights, I suppose, certainly implies Necromancer. I don't trust these statues. Did do anything? No? Okay. See, if I drop down, it'll just take me to a place I've already been, apparently. I think. Let's see, what's the legend say that is? Oh, there's an item there, though. I'll come back for it later. Okay, I'm really glad I made that decision. <laughs> because I want to, um, get one of these first. And it's right by this, so I can just, like, teleport to this one later on. And get the item. Which I'll totally remember. Okay. They're not gonna make it through all of Poison Pavilion, I think. But, let's go a little bit. Apparently it looks like there's a platform. Okay, there is. It's just very slow and... That's a very long path. This game has a good soundtrack. I'm not a fan of the platforms that move quite this slowly. Like, moving platforms are fine, I just wish that these moved a little bit faster. <laughs> Go. Can I go left? I can. Arm shrine that I don't need. door there. Not sure how I feel about that door. I guess I'll take it. Huh? What is this? It looks like one side is locked and the other isn't. Either way, I... Apparently can't actually do anything there yet. God, that's scary. Okay, evil acid slime. And, oh. Okay, we're doing that, huh? Anything about these? Okay. Hoggle. Die. Now oh, that's the map. Okay, no strings attached, just get the map, I guess. Well, let's see how big this place is. Oh my god. We're definitely not making it through this whole place. I'm really happy that I got the map, though. Turn that off. So far, there doesn't seem to be any disadvantage to turning these off. I'm assuming there will be one at some point. Oh, they're invincible while they're in hat mode. That's annoying. Like, if there's only good things that come from turning these off, why wouldn't I just turn them all off? Ah, and there is. for this puzzle. How is this one do? Okay.
And I assume that's permanent? It would actually have to be based on how the map room was laid out now that I think about it. Well, the important thing is that the puzzle is solved. Can't go that way yet. Okay, I can destroy the evil bubbles. Okay, gonna need to do some pogoing. I missed a coin. I will never forgive myself. Hey, whoa, that was scary. So much of this is super tight timing. I'm so glad I can do this. I feel like that was maybe the, the intended solution because I'm not really sure how else you could have gone past that slime without taking some damage along the way. Just a checkpoint gear is. Okay, yeah. I, I was double checking to make sure that I, I couldn't um, make it through this whole place and looking at it's just, yeah, no, not happening. Not tonight. Um, so that's probably another health boost from uh, maintaining health upon death. I've already got the max for my current health level, but, you know, nice for in the future. Oh, that's interesting. Seems like it might be useful to have that around later. jump. Okay. Well, this is a point of no return until I got a new ability at any rate. Or find a way around it. I have faint. Oh, you look friendly. I can go meet a very friendly looking knight in person, or I can just... This. <laughs> don't really want to lose my progress, so I might do this. <laughs> Super cheap. But you know what? It worked. to a room. Oh, maybe it does. Okay, so there's a single room on the upper right and a series of rooms over here. Let's go for the series of rooms first. Firstly, because it's closer. Ooh, that... It's following me? No, no. You need to die. Do I use the potion? I'm probably gonna lose half a heart before I need to use this potion. Oh, do I need to... I need to... No. I didn't need to bring the hat thing over here because there's no way for it to get over here. 
Okay, maybe I can't do the series of rooms yet. Okay. These guys are not too bad. I'm sure they freaking will super murder me if I get hit by that, but in terms of like actually being dangerous enemies, they don't really do a whole lot. Look, there's a checkpoint statue here all along. There we go. That was a bit weird. I guess this room will be the new ability room. Possibly with a boss fight. Oh! The strip double jump charm. Okay, yeah, I saw the eyes light up a split second before I did that. Uh, I honestly didn't think this game was going to give me a just standard double jump. How is it? Okay, seems like I can use that at any point in my jump. It's definitely noticeably shorter than the initial jump, but hey, it's a double jump. Oh, and it's used to temporarily break through these um, platforms, so it also has a bit of more, like, utility beyond just the standard utility of double jumping. I mean, a lot of double jumps in games are kind of more like a hop than a proper jump. I'm not sure if this is enough to make it here. I'm, I'm assuming it is. Ow. Yeah, okay. Taking a whole lot of damage because I'm rushing. Oh, no. over here? Oh. So, this is just gonna chop me, right? Oh, but I can... Oh, there was that one... There was that one fake path I couldn't reach. Where was it? In the forest? Okay, this is... Super obviously fake. Oh! I'm expecting that, but I'll take it. Nothing below this room on the map, so there shouldn't be any more fake outs. Oh! The room that's not even on the map, apparently. I guess that those things can exist. The heck is this gonna be? I honestly thought every room had to be on the map. Look. Oh man, that opens up so many possibilities. I feel like usually when there's like a hidden room inside a hidden room, they tend to give you more than one reward, but I guess that one was already quite a lot between the two rooms, actually. I had to check. I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm gonna finish up this batch of rooms here, get to a checkpoint, and then probably call it for the night. And that seems like a pretty decent stopping point. I don't know how long these rooms are gonna take, but We've already been going for quite a while at this point, so... Or somewhere in there. Huh? Really? I just bad at double jumping? Huh. 
Okay. Maybe this wasn't the way forward after all. This room's suspicious because of how empty it is. I, I don't necessarily trust it. That was marked on the map, by the way. I noticed it, like, right as I stepped on it. See? You can see it right there on the map. Just barely. There's two doors. Well, I guess I can't get through this path just yet. Okay. I keep going to the right though. No. Yeah, it's slash every wall in existence. That's really good advice. I'll make sure to take it. Oh, some sort of sword upgrade. Wait. Wait. No, that's not right. Place I couldn't reach before. Okay, so I need to reach that door somehow. There must be a trick to this, right? Because that door presumably leads out to that door. And then from that door, I can get this. Maybe there's a false wall over here? I'm gonna poke around in this whole bit for a little bit longer. I don't think there's a fake, um, like any sort of fake passage here. Let's drop down here. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Marked by grass. Uh,. Let's see, I'm going to assume that there might be a place I can fall down. Nope. Okay. At least, didn't seem that way. I was kind of using soul to check. That'll lead to that kind of semi-hidden passage. And then that'll lead to the door. And then that door will lead to the other door. And the other door will lead to the scroll I want. And there's also a book in the corner, but I don't think I can reach the book. This is a very silly puzzle. There we go, here. The door is over there. I think it's... yep. Careful not to die to this nonsense. I succeed in not dying to that nonsense. Yeah, I don't think there's... Okay, that's how I reached this book. I didn't think that they'd put a book all the way here that I couldn't reach with my current abilities. That would be a bit weird. This seems like it might be optional. Uh... I mean, why not? I'm not doing anything else with that third charm slot for now. Seems like the type of thing that I'm probably going to be getting rid of in the future. When I have more utility things to take into account, but... Seems like a nice thing for maybe boss fights.
certainly can't complain about. I'm making it up here. It's going to be probably tricky. Maybe not. Oh, hat. Go away, hat. Okay, so I'm gonna make it to the... Ow. They only deal one damage? They have this giant hammer and they only deal one damage? So... They're very slow and technically easy to dodge. Never mind that I got hit by them twice just now. Um... And they only deal one damage. this now. I went in this room for this charm shrine, by the way. And I got this new fancy charm, may as well equip it, right? Oh, I should probably actually use this. I don't know if this is saving my progress or not. because I don't see any, like, indication of my progress being saved. So, I might... I'm gonna head back to another checkpoint to make sure, like, that my progress is definitely saved. <laughs> and I am making a bit of an assumption and assuming that these checkpoints are functioning as save points. I haven't seen any icons or anything indicating it. See, I don't know where the nearest checkpoint is, but I guess I'll find it. Okay, so that makes more sense now. This will let me get a book. Oh, and I can get the armor upgrade right there. Cool. I guess they kind of just want to hand you that armor upgrade. Oh, that's significantly less good than what I was expecting. 1% chance to not take damage when hit. Woo. <laughs> I mean, I suppose if you stack enough of it, it'll get good, right? Eventually. This takes forever. That's all. Did I explore this entire room? Yes, I did. Maybe we we'll, maybe I will just finish out this area. I don't know. Probably not. It's probably gonna get even more puzzly from this point on, and I don't know if I can think straight for even basic puzzles at this point, so we'll see. Oh no, basic puzzles. One of these. Okay, which one's this is control? Well, those two. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I assume this is just that. What's down here? Oh, this is a side one over here. This looks like it goes, so let's not go here yet. Imagine if you played this game without being aware of that secret passages in, um, video games were things. <laughs> this is incredibly mean. Wait, I don't need to worry about the bubble. I was trying to time it so that I'd hop on the bubble and then it's like, no, what am I doing? I totally don't need to hop on the bubble. I have double jump. I guess if I had come here before getting the double jump, the only way to do that would have been to bubble hop, but that seems like an incredibly bad idea. I'm not going to go backtrack to that 
statue just for half a heart. All in acid. It doesn't care. Okay. I suppose it makes sense that the undead thing wouldn't really care about the liquid that's all over the necromancy area, but I hoped. I suppose that might come in handy to know for the future. That that's not a good way of killing them. Take out the statue. Really shooting a ton of these sword beams at me. Okay. I don't really know which way I'll go first. I guess up. Uh, I guess not. Oh, a gear. Oh, there was that one uh, serious door that I guess I can reach now that looked like it might need a gear of roughly this color. This is going to be one massive puzzle, isn't it? Turn that up. Okay, don't turn that off yet. Don't die in the checkpoint room. That was mean. <laughs> How freaking rude. I should probably be calling it a stream here, but I kind of want to get the shiny gear. I'm going to assume that I did something good. Oh, this would be so much harder without this double jump. And the, like, it's scary to think that I, I'm pretty sure nothing would have stopped me from going this way before the double jump path. And this is involved. Oh, didn't see that. Okay. Oh, this is really tight timing. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. <laughs> Let's get that chest. A heart in it, so that was worth it. Oh, poison slime. I really don't want to deal with you. Okay, that's a cute little puzzle. I see what I need to do, too. I'll find a way to injure myself on it all the same. Oh. Oh, I see it. What else is here? Loot will gravitate toward you. Oh, cool. Loot magnet. Now that's nice. Is that just a permanent one? Yeah, it's a permanent one. That's really good. Now, 
Now where am I? I'm over here. Okay. That permanently did something. Presumably there was a roadblock somewhere that is no longer a roadblock. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, there was a door over here, wasn't there? Hmm. What's this door about? Uh, Oh! Loot Room has murdered the music, apparently. Oh, I have a ton of money. Uh, maybe I should go in town and bank some of this. Oh, that was actually a thing, huh? Yeah, let's go in town and bank this and then call his stream. The gear can wait for tomorrow. Oh, right, I can get to that upper path I couldn't before. All sorts of new things have opened up now that I can double jump. <laughs> if I can actually remember the way to them. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take that upper path real fast since I think it's just a book. May as well just get the book before calling it a night, right? Um, ah. Oh. I think I can make it. Maybe not. Okay. There was, um, the vines here. Close enough? Sure doesn't look it. Nah. Okay. I probably need at least one more ability. I'm so confident in my double jump, too. Oh well. Let's see. So, looking real fast, what will this double jump let me do? It might let me get past that gate over here. I don't think so though, but that's a potential thing. Don't remember what this is about. Um, this was something that I think I need soul for. Not really much else in here. Uh, this I can access now. I can do all this too, presumably. And probably a whole bunch of stuff in the Necromancer place itself, of course. But for now, where are we going to the shop slash bank? Up. Man, that's expensive for one more heart. That's super not worth it. There, just spent a small fortune to be able to bank my fortune. There we go. I have no money left. I'm going under the assumption that all, um, that there are no shops outside of the one in this town. Or if there are other shops that I can easily come back to this one. Okay. Um, I'm not really 
sure of how to quit this game. Okay. Open menu. Options? Nope. Um, back to main menu. Yep. I assume my um, data is saved. Let's make sure. Yes. Okay. I don't seem to have a way out of this menu without selecting one of these. So, let's do that, I guess. A kind of weird place to put the menu. I totally didn't notice that until just now. Um, but yeah, can I go back to the main menu? And, um, yeah, that has been Cathedral for tonight. Uh, that was super good. I definitely would like to play more of it for sure, um, and I would absolutely recommend buying it for $15 if you like games like this. 